It's a common misconception that eating carbohydrates will make you gain weight no matter what. In reality, this is only true if the carbohydrates that you eat are predominantly refined. And when those refined carbohydrates are eaten in a high fat environment. And in fact, high carbohydrate diets can be healthy and beneficial for your body when they are sourced from nutrient dense sources like fruits, starchy vegetables, legumes, and intact whole grains. And for full clarity, also in conjunction with an overall low fat diet. That's why in this video, we'll explore the incredible benefits of eating a high carbohydrate diet that many people just don't know anything about. We'll also myth bust about the quote unquote danger of eating carbohydrate rich foods. And we'll talk about why carbohydrate rich food is actually the secret to reversing prediabetes and type two diabetes, even though that may sound blasphemous. And you'll really want to watch this video all the way through because it turns out finding the right carbs might be the secret to living longer, feeling better, and losing weight. High carbohydrate diets have often been viewed with skepticism because it's believed that they can lead to weight gain when not managed correctly. Now this happens because of a true fact. Sometimes high carbohydrate foods are calorie dense and high in sugar, but only when they are refined. And both of these increase the risk for weight gain and obesity and high blood glucose, especially if they're not eaten mindfully. So why do we recommend eating a high carbohydrate diet? In order to understand this confusion between the low carbohydrate diet and diets high in carbohydrates, you have to understand that there are multiple types of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are broken down into two main categories, refined and whole. Refined carbohydrates are carbohydrates that can be found in things like candy bars and soft drinks and pastries. These processed carbohydrates are digested very quickly and they lead to a rapid rise in your blood glucose value within a short period of time after eating them. On the other hand, whole carbohydrates are made from foods like fruits, starchy vegetables, legumes, or intact whole grains, which have more fiber and take longer for your body to digest. This means that they don't cause as large of a spike in your blood sugar levels when you eat them. And as a bonus, these extra fibers and nutrients are fantastic for your body. So while we do recommend eating a high carbohydrate diet, we don't recommend eating any type of carbohydrate. It's necessary to limit or eliminate your intake of refined carbohydrates and increase your intake of whole carbohydrates because that's the way that you can clear a lot of the confusion and actually get serious metabolic benefit from eating carbohydrates. And we don't recommend a high carbohydrate diet just for the blood sugar benefits. High carbohydrate diets have several benefits that you should know about. Now first, we wanna reiterate that when we talk about carbohydrates, we're not just talking about sugar, we're not talking about candy bars, we're not talking about refined carbohydrate rich foods. Diets that are high in carbohydrates should consist of natural whole ingredients that come from the earth and aren't processed like refined carbohydrates are when they're turned into products that contain things like bread and flour. These complex carbohydrates that you find in nature give you long lasting energy and they also help regulate your blood glucose and they don't make you feel sluggish because they can take a little bit longer to digest than those rapid acting refined carbohydrates and that's actually a good thing for your liver, for your pancreas, for your brain and for your muscles. And they're backed by science. Studies have shown that people who eat whole grains and complex carbohydrates like oats or quinoa tend to be healthier than those who rely on processed carbohydrates for their energy needs. High carbohydrate diets can also help you maintain a healthy weight by making you feel full longer because of all the fiber in these foods. Now let's get into some other important comparisons. One of the biggest reasons that we like to recommend eating a higher carbohydrate diet is for increased energy. High carbohydrate foods are an excellent source of quick, ready to use available energy that you can access practically any time that you need it most. So if you live an active lifestyle, then eating a naturally high carbohydrate intake is a good thing because it'll equip you with plenty of cognitive power and plenty of physical energy at all times. Carbohydrates give us a burst of energy because they're directly processed and sent into the bloodstream as glucose, also known as blood sugar, which our cells can use as fuel. 
Since foods that are high in carbohydrates are packed with energy, they're often the body's go-to source when you need a quick boost of energy, whether that be from physical activity or just in your day-to-day -day life. These high carbohydrate diets are also great for athletes because carbohydrates provide quick bursts of energy that can be used during intense physical activity to help you train harder and recover faster. Whole carbohydrates also tend to have a higher nutrient profile than their low carbohydrate counterparts because they usually contain more vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. In fact, these foods contain a wider variety of vitamins and minerals that you wouldn't be able to get from other food groups. Not only that, but they also contain fiber, water, antioxidants, and disease-fighting micronutrients. Focusing on plant-based natural carbohydrates has another key benefit because these carbohydrates are lower in calories. They allow you to eat more. For instance, if you ate the same weight of mangoes versus pork, you would end up consuming four times more calories from pork. Three ounces of mangoes would be 50 calories and three ounces of cooked pork would provide 200 calories. So by choosing the fruit instead of the meat, you actually eat foods that have a high nutrient density, which is a great thing, and a low calorie density, which is a great thing, especially if weight loss is important for you. Now, high carbohydrate diets are great for weight loss and maintenance, and they help you feel satiated and energized all along the way so that you don't feel like you're having to deprive yourself of eating a bunch of food just because you choose to eat high carbohydrate foods in the first place. Now, another one of the reasons why we recommend eating whole carbohydrates as your main energy source is because it helps reduce your risk for the development of chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease, fatty liver disease, chronic kidney disease, and as some of the most modern research is demonstrating, dementia and Alzheimer's disease later in life. Foods high in fats and processed sugars are associated with a higher risk of many chronic diseases, such as type two diabetes and heart disease. High fat diets can also cause inflammation something that we definitely want to avoid. Now with the recent rise in popularity of counting your macros, people living with diabetes are often left wondering how they can manage their diet when it comes to eating carbohydrates because when they do, their blood glucose goes high and then they blame the carbohydrate and saying, oh, I'm not able to eat those foods because carbs cause high blood glucose. After all, everywhere you go on the internet, people are telling you that if you're living with prediabetes or type two diabetes that you have to eat a low carbohydrate diet in order to control your blood glucose and in order to keep your insulin production inside of your pancreas at a low level. And on the surface level, this might make sense. After all, carbohydrates become glucose and the main problem with diabetes is a high level of blood glucose. So shouldn't you reduce your carbohydrate intake in order to fight diabetes? Well, the answer is no. Now, in order to understand this idea that you should be using a high carbohydrate diet to combat diabetes, you have to understand insulin resistance at its core. Insulin resistance is a net result of the accumulation of excess dietary fat in cells that are not meant to store large quantities of fat like your liver and muscle. So when this happens, cells inside of your liver and cells inside of your muscle, they begin to reject glucose and they leave glucose in the bloodstream because they're not capable of taking it up in large quantities. The more fat you consume, the lower the amount of insulin action is inside of your liver and inside of your muscle. And as a result of that, accumulating blood glucose in your blood leads to more thirst, lower energy, and a higher risk for kidney failure over the course of time. This insulin resistance is what causes your blood sugar to rise. And it's why insulin resistance is the real culprit in most diabetes complications. And this is also why eating carbohydrates actually helps to reverse type two diabetes. Over time, consistently feeding your body high quality glucose allows your cells to burn through their excess fat and begin fueling themselves with glucose again. Then that means that your body has to spend less time trying to demand that your cells accept this glucose. And over time, your blood glucose levels begin to return to normal, and that's a good thing. Now, this isn't just a theory. This is something that we've seen time and time again, and this is something that over 100 years worth of evidence-based research has clearly demonstrated over the course of time. You can see exactly how carbohydrates are beneficial to people living with diabetes by watching our testimonial videos. Click here 
to begin watching our success stories playlist, which at the time of recording has 56 testimonials. These are real people in the real world who are living with all forms of diabetes. If you're skeptical, this playlist is for you. Whether it was switching from a low carbohydrate diet to low fat diet, finally getting rid of processed sugar intake, or just taking stock of our foods, the dietary changes of the Mastering Diabetes Method are the foundation to change countless lives. If you want to work with a private coach or join one of our small group coaching cohorts, please book a discovery call with our enrollment team. They will speak to you about what's going on for you and make sure you're assigned to the correct group or private coach. If you're living with type 1 diabetes, you'll be placed in a group with other type 1s. If you're going through menopause, we'll put you in our menopause group. If you're looking to lose a significant amount of weight, we can put you in a weight loss specific group. We have so many different groups, we can't list them all here, but we got you covered. Book a call today. And also, as always, don't forget to push that cute little like button with your thumb or with your mouse. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because when you do and you turn that little bell icon on, then you'll be notified of more videos when they come out. We appreciate your time and we will see you in the next video.